how does a typical day in the life of a mobile malware analyst uh, look like? It always starts with a copy. <laughs> First thing in the morning, uh, what I do, really important for me, are, are taking notes. So this is the first thing I go through, what I did last day, what I have to do this day to keep my time management under control. And then apart from uh, directly work-related stuff like reading emails and going through that, I start with a research by simply scrolling Twitter feeds. Twitter is the best source of information for InfoSec community. If you ask me, almost every day I find new blogs, new articles, new white papers, new malware samples, uh, different distribution vectors. And if there's some new or interesting malware type, I try to analyze that. I see if it is really something new I haven't seen before. And if so, that's when actual research, malware research starts for me. So it's something like that if I'm, uh, if I'm lucky. At that day, that's the day of the malware analyst. You're actually picking up the sample that you're going to work on. So that's actually be at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., or what time do you actually get to work? Um, yeah, start like uh, that at 9 a.m., let's say. And if I'm lucky, I really fall for that and been doing that for a couple of hours and then there's like 2 p.m and while well, i'm still doing analysis i'm finishing like some, some some paper and finishing my research i i like doing videos uh, i guess you already know that from my youtube or twitter i like to post this stuff how malware works what it does that's more or less what what i do level up your skills in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing with my course Recon in Cybersecurity and Master the Fascinating World of Reconnaissance. Link below. When does the typical day of work finishes? What time? Since uh, these days I'm uh, working from home because of the coronavirus, uh, it doesn't, doesn't really finish for me. Um, if I have interesting leads, uh, many times I work until, until midnight to, to finish the stuff uh, I'm into. The correct uh, the, the the particular day my my wife doesn't really like that but it uh, it happens that's the analysis of the malware doing research analyzing the functionality and then for example seeing um, remote servers and then i try to uh, do OSINT to open source intelligent the techniques to identify uh, different uh, servers what they are connected to maybe get some logs from the malware <clears throat> to identify where from the attackers, who might be behind the attack, uh, what are the targeted countries, targeted countries, what are the distribution vectors, and trying to connect all these dots to create something that could come up out of that at some reasonable... Coherent. Yeah, yeah, I would say, yeah, that's the right word. You seem to work a lot. Uh, let's say that uh... If you go into the office, your typical day of uh, work ends at usually 5 or 6 p.m. Uh, what do you do afterwards to actually get out of that uh, work mindset? How do you uh, spend the rest of your day? I mean, do you actually just uh, take time off and don't think about uh, computer security and malware and just do other types of activities? Or what do you actually do afterwards when after the, the day of work finishes and uh, you're actually not thinking about work? After work, I prefer doing sports. If there is a time, um, seasonal sports, to get my head clear out of the job, either gym or uh, now it's summer, uh, going cycling. In the winter, it's uh, skiing. And also uh, spend my time with the family. I have a kid, so this gets my head uh, of the work. Mental health is, is really important here today and now in the in the era of uh, the burnout, which a lot of people complain because they, they spend too much time. I mean, it's you can avoid burnout if you really enjoy what you're doing. But if you're really stressed, I mean, that's that's one of the easiest ways to get into burnout. And there, there are a lot of people not only in cybersecurity, but in other fields which are related to computer technology and uh, spending a lot of time on a desk job, which uh, so people who complain about burnout. So it's, it's really important to have some sort of a delineation or a limit between the time we spent working and the time we spent uh, 
the time we spend doing other activities. If you want to gain an edge over other cybersecurity professionals, take my Python for Pentesters course and uh, learn how to leverage the power of Python in penetration testing and cybersecurity. Link in the description.